So as you guys know, I've been rolling out holiday videos specifically for the season and I came across something that just made me really think. So there is a snowfall expansion pack for city skylines, meaning snow covered cities and providing different services for them, such as plow services and heating services. So I thought, why not just because it's winter, make a little small video on just making that town. By the way, if this turns out well, maybe I'll do another one during the winter season. This might be a continuous series. But yeah, I got this idea, so why don't we try it? Hey guys, it's nice to see you again. So yeah, today we are here with a snowy city, as I stated earlier. I started working on this yesterday, so welcome to Frosty Peaks. Frosty Peaks is a beautiful community, complete with spacious neighborhoods, great schools, and just snow-covered area as far as the eye can see. It's beautiful, complete with different plazas and parks dedicated to the snowfall that plagues our area. Many folks might find this to be such an inconvenience on this small community, but alas, this community embraces the idea. Okay, sorry about that in the background. Um, it's the first Saturday of the month and they test tornado sirens where I live, so ignore that as I tell you about the community. But it's a beautiful town, complete with snowfall and so much more. I hope you decide to enjoy our small community and see us as we grow. So yeah, so basically I just did this so we could have some fun playing on a snow-covered city and just, you know, get to play this part of these guys. The fun part is, I think on December 1st, I don't know, there's a free pack that is dedicated to Christmas music being at the station. Now I won't play it because I'm worried about copyright, but it is enjoyable. Also, you'll see it later, Chirpy will pop up and he will actually be in antlers and a red nose that specifically comes around the Christmas time. So yeah, my favorite thing is this little business district ever over here. Yeah, I built a high school. We're working on the low educated workers right now, but we have the Frosty Peaks Outlet Mall. <laughs> it's a great little detail. So yeah, we're just gonna have some fun as I expand this and deal with snowfall. Now, for those of you who have never played City Sky and Snowfall, there are two big differences that come to this uh, game specifically. There is plow services. These will keep the roads clear because if the roads become snow covered, the cars will actually drive slower. And the other thing is, you probably noticed it from this huge plant over here, this is a geothermal heating plant. Citizens require heating. You can see right here, all these pipelines carry water and heat to homes. We don't need anybody freezing to death now because if you notice, it's only 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit in this country or city, I should say, <laughs> not country, what am I saying? <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of fun and we are just gonna keep expanding on this little community. Something I do love to do is place these little sidewalk paths to help get people ready to go. It's easier to have people have the ability to walk instead of drive because it lowers the amount of traffic in areas. Right now we're working on this little guy right here. This is the Lasso District, as I call it. I haven't named it that yet, but I'm going to eventually. Basically, it's a district, as you can tell, in the shape of a lasso. I thought it was cool, I thought it was fun and whimsical, so I decided to just build it and play around. I believe it's a nice little touch to this wintery community. <laughs> so yeah, my brother, he tends to build the block system. Now, there's no problem with that. It's very effective, but I like to take the creative route and make all these interesting looking neighborhoods with different details and different things about them that just feel like a real architectural city. Is it easy? No. But it looks nice and that's what matters. Oh man, I'll tell you why it was hard because uh, I had to upgrade literally every, almost every single pipeline in the city to heating and water pipelines, as you can tell. It's not easy. <laughs> so what's cool also about this pack is it actually has unique buildings and tourism plots that are specifically for these types of cities only. So if you look right here under unique buildings, we have multiple kinds, also require the unlocking over time. But not just that, there's also special winter themed parks. So I enjoy that very much and hopefully I can get this. Uh, ice skating rink because I feel like it's a nice detail. I'll find a good place for a good home. Let's see here. Where are we going? 
good place. It doesn't have very much water. So they don't have a place right there. See, like you can see the people ice skiing and having fun in the city. Especially, as you can tell, this pack definitely has very big Christmas vibes considering the factor that the entire town is covered in snow. So it's pretty obvious how that works. <laughs> so I just love how these cities just... They look unique. And that's what really makes me happy in City Skylines. Just having this just great ability to let your creative mind flow and not have any or at least not too many restrictions because sometimes there are things that stand in the way of your creative mind like traffic problems <laughs> i heard there's this new challenge that i saw somebody doing on youtube i can't remember the channel but it was that you had to build a city with no intersections and i'm just I'm just shocked. Like, I don't know how I would be able to do that. I've always built intersections in City Skylines, and I never really taken the opportunity to build things that didn't have intersections. Because, as you know, I built a lot of intersections, as you can tell from the city. Like, I think it said, like, roundabouts do not count. So you can use those. Here's the thing. I know roundabouts are great for controlling traffic, but the problem is that Sometimes roundabouts are not as effective, and it's one of the in-game tips, like, if you have a video as an intersection, use a roundabout. Well, if you can take note from some of my previous cities, I don't know if you guys have specifically seen it yet, but I tend to have the problem of the roundabout failing horribly. <laughs> it tends to be, like, just that the traffic starts backing up and nobody knows how to operate it. It'd be great if it did work the way it was intended, then I probably have an easier time helping my citizens get around the city. <laughs> Who knows? Will that come? I don't know. But I am excited because recently I watched a live stream. They're going to do another one the week this video is out. I'm filming this the week before, but the week this video comes out, they will be doing a live stream about the Financial District DLC. I will do a video on that once it is released because it's a new thing and I always thought things like that were interesting. And especially always having some new way to unique, make your city unique, is always welcome in my book. What can I say? Looks like the snowfall's uh, getting pretty heavy in the town right now. Uh, let's hope that stays clear for the meantime. time. Ah, man, more and more people are not covered with parks. Let's see what I can do. Um, something should be able to do. I mean, tennis courts, they, they, they can wear warm outfits and play in them. These guys need somewhere to go. Okay, let's get a tennis court there. Is there a way I could put a plaza somewhere without bulldozing something important? There we go. This will increase the land value is why, and that's something obviously you need in a city to help make sure people stay happy. I do have disasters turned on, but I only saw the sinkhole recently. If it was daytime, I'd show you it's over here along the coastline. So actually, I could show you right now. Let's see. Where's the elevation tap? Oh, look. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that occurred a while ago. <laughs> um, I hope to fill it in. Right now, we got bigger fish to fry. So I'm starting to think, like, I want to build, like, a big park. Like, a really big park. How will I do it? I don't know yet. Will it look good? I hope so, because that's the plan. <laughs> so yeah, these guys, they work kind of like the dump. They pick up the snow, kind of like how they pick up the trash and they put it back to the dump. Now the snow dump will melt as the sun is out, so yeah. Usually you're not going to need more than one. It's very rare that you'll need more than one. So yeah, they just drive around and they clear the road. See how this one's covered in snow? It's basically going to cause the streets to back up and we don't get them to so yeah, and there it is. The road's now all clear. <laughs> Joke's on the kids. They're gonna have to go to school. <laughs> but yeah, those snowflakes, they mean snow-covered roads need clearing. Cars will still drive on them. There's no car accidents in this game. Thank goodness. <laughs> but basically, they'll clear them, and it will help cars have an easier time get getting to places. I'm really thinking about getting, like, a large park. Like, a really big park. I'm not sure what yet. I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about putting a park, like, right about here. Right in the center of town. Nice little place for it. 
I can get a small fair, amusement park, but I'm just thinking basic park. Very simple, very easy. So let's uh, let's go ahead and make that. So it's just gonna it's just gonna fill up this small square. It's just gonna be like a big park. Will I make it for profit? Probably in the beginning, but if I make more profit as a city later, I will definitely make it so it's free. Other parks like amusement parks, I tend to obviously give a price tag because it only makes sense. It really only makes sense to do that. And we have officially opened up a park. So now I gotta start setting up said park. Let's see here. I always like getting four entrances, one on each side. I will be definitely getting a... Uh... Okay, I need to find where the middle is on this park. Okay, the middle is right about there. He's off. They look fine. Uh, something I did see men people mentioning. Something I did see people mentioning in the live stream is that they um, wanted more snow maps and. Because they've been adding so much recently, especially with the map pack too. You know? And to be honest, I would as well. Because, like, listen, I do like the four that, or five that we were given. But I personally think that a few more would be nice, you know? I mean, they look great and all. It's just there could be a little more added. It just really helps make it look beautiful, you know? Like, it gives you that little sense of I just like it, okay? I would love it. It would be nice. That's, that's just all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Before I say something, like, weird that doesn't make any sense. It actually happened in my recent final... One of my recent final draft papers. Is like, my teacher was like, what do you mean by this? I'm like, uh, I guess I mean poor word choice. <laughs> but it worked out in the end. I figured out the corrections, and now it's a good paper. Well, at least I... At least I think it's a good paper. I'm pretty sure my professor will, too. He... He, it's interesting. He's actually... This is the first time I've ever encountered this. He is one of those professors where he won't just tell you what's wrong. He will give you direct instructions on how to fix it. He, When I emailed him, he provided me links on where I needed to go. And even better, he uh, gave compliments on the paper. And I've never had a professor do that before. It's always been like professors telling you, telling you just things that you need to fix and that that's about it, like nothing else. He's different. A good kind of different. And I like him for that. Alright. Uh, our park is currently working on getting operational. So it's currently open. So people can start visiting it. So that's good. I'm seeing a lot of people back up on traffic on here. I don't know why they're all choosing this road out of all of them. I have plenty of roads, including the main drag that if you literally just go out this end on the roundabout... People, you can't park here. <sighs> Don't ask. It's just sometimes people think that they have to park on the roundabout. Does it mean they should? No, it does not. I'm turning this into a four lane. Let's see how they like parking on that now. They should have a much harder time now. Oh, wait, there's a three lane version? Wow. Let's change it to four lane. Let's see what happens. I hope it's that's a good choice because of the highway. The road hierarchy, I always follow it ever since uh, I heard City Planner Plays do it. It's very effective, and I trust it. So I'm not giving up on the parking, the road hierarchy just yet. As you can tell, the city is um, it's fun. It's it's just like I always build wintry cities when. The time comes like you know when the holidays come around and all that i've always built wintry cities because it's the shoe it just fits like like i said it fits it's that time of year and it's that time that we get stone covered city i live in michigan so we definitely see plenty of snow during the year i feel like a public i would i don't know why but i always put public libraries near city parks it's just a thing I'm guessing the reason why I put public libraries near parks is because the town I live in here in Michigan, we have like, what, four parks, possibly more. <laughs> and it's hard to keep track of it because like, 
that's the problem with the town I live in. You can't say we're going to the park because then somebody will, because then the next question that follows is which one? <laughs> There was a park cleanup not too long ago for Earth Day. Me and my dad volunteered for it. It was very nice, very fun. I might do it again if I happen to be in town during Earth Day this year, which is probably not gonna happen, but never know. Considering that uh, college semesters are significantly different than high school semesters, or trimesters, I should say. We are in a trimester system. Oh, we're already past the 15 minute mark. This is just gonna be a nice, light, short episode Possibly 30 minutes, maybe shorter. Just just for fun. I just wanted to show off how these cities work and how fun they are to build and manage with different things. Oh, and the building's on fire. Yay, it's out. <laughs> I got sidetracked there for a second. Mm. The good news is this park is definitely going to help increase the amount of land value around the area, which is something we want. We really want that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The shuffleboard court. That fits right there, but I don't think anybody wants to go shuffleboarding right next to the uh, industrial complex. Because uh, we're already seeing a lot of upgrade, but what, what about the dump? What's the problem with the dump? The dump looks fine. I'm full already. 72%. That's not good. Um, Can we get some recycling in the city? Oh, I don't want to pollute the neighborhoods. Um, Here. There you go, you guys. You have recycling now. Probably should have gotten that a long time ago. That's not part of Snowfall. That's from Green Cities. <laughs> I try to get a recycling plant when I can because it tends to make it easier for there not to be as many problems with trash. <laughs> right now, I can see the snow is uh, giving the snow flowers a pretty good job this year. I'm just happy that it looks like... I'm not sure if it's programmed like this. It looks like they take the priority roads, like the main drags that are, mo that are on most amount of lanes first, which I think makes sense for real life. That's what they take care of. Do dirt roads get plowed in this game? I do not know. Hmm, that's a good question to myself. <laughs> yes, Garrett. Give yourself questions, because that's what your audience wants to see. Uh, Okay, I'm still talking to myself, and it's just a little embarrassing. I have this thing. It's, I do it all the time, but don't worry. I'm perfectly fine. It's, it's just something I do. I'm a very outgoing and socializable person. I tend to want to talk to people, and when I can't talk to people, I talk with myself. I love hearing stories from other people. I love hearing about other people's adventures, because... It's just amazing to hear what wondrous things people can do. Oh, I won't forget to name this Lasso District. Why build a district when I'm not going to name it the exact reason I built it? <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, I do try to use a good amount of city policies. A good part about City Skyline, like I said earlier, that I love is that every policy is not exactly 100% good and not every policy is 100% bad. They have a mix, which is very good. I hope I'm spelling lasso right. <laughs> I know it's easy, but I, it's not easy for me to type, especially since I'm on a PS4 and not a computer <laughs> with a keyboard where you can type with fingers. <laughs> oh, that sounded weird coming out of my mouth. Where are the plow services? Half these streets are not plowed yet. Come on, guys. What are you doing? All 10 trucks are in use, but they're not plowing. Finally, thank you. I just think maybe we're just having a little too much roads for such a small company. Maybe they're not taking care of the roads nobody drives on? I don't know. I honestly do not know. You could probably use an elder care center. Right next to the library, I mean, it fits. I mean, it fits with the library, because, like, the elderly, they love to read, so everything uh, across the street would be nice. Or even next door. Next door is even better. Oh, look, there's Chirpy. <laughs> just, I just love building different cities with different things. Sometimes I even, like, do this thing where I close my eyes and randomly select a map just to give myself an extra challenge. And it works out in the end, and I love it. Cities, Skylines is just a nice game. It's very chill sometimes because <laughs> you know obviously there's 
disasters, as you can tell from my series about the natural disasters, which, by the way, you guys, you guys should really go watch that. I might do another episode after the holiday season. It's very interesting, I'll say it the most. <laughs> It's funny, unlike the airport areas, but it's pretty obvious the city does not have the budget for one yet. I did unlock pedestrian area. I did unlock pedestrian areas as well. Again, we don't have the one thing I need for that, which is wall-to-wall uh, -wall buildings. Now, technically, I can't build a district like that without them, but it's better with them. I don't understand there's no commercial specialization. Like, why? Why would you have that? Like, why would you... Just don't zone it. That's all I'm gonna say. Just don't, don't freaking zone it. Until some roads covered in snow. I'm surprised Boss Services hasn't taken care of that yet. Manor Garden. It's a beautiful park. I might rename it eventually. I don't know if I'll continue this series. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do a second video of this if this happens to do well. All I know is this is going to be a seasonal thing. Now, will I play this just around Christmas? I don't know. I might actually play a little bit of it in January. It's, it's definitely something to put up for consideration. Because, I mean, the best part about Snowfall is not really 100% Christmassy. It's still kind of Snowfall. Like, it's about snow. You know, I think it's time we got a bus depot. We, we need to get people... Just We need to make it easier for people to get around... So, there's this road right here. I'm just going to span this one out, and this will be, like, a transportation district, like, where all the transportation buildings are. I feel like that's appropriate for the setting. Right, let's make some services. So, something I love to do to make bus services is I like doing one on the main drag, so, like, the big roads. And then I like doing one on the... And then I like doing some for the smaller neighborhoods, so people feel like they're getting obligated for I mostly try to just get people transported to where they need to go the big thing is you also got to consider with the most recent update adding all those new buses and they even have capacities which I love that because like it's perfect I need that in my city but the buses now have capacity some of the buses have capacities now like listed and I like that because it helps me out because Something you need to decide on is basically you have to take a look at basically you have to take a look at the routes, see how many people are getting on and getting ready to go, and then you decide what bus would be best for this route. Now, this first one I'm pretty sure since it's on main drag is gonna require a lot of space in the buses, so we're gonna look and see if we can find one that's pretty good. I don't think the super bendy bus is uh, fit for this quite yet. I see bus loads are already piling up, so let's see here. Um we got a bus with 32 capacity, bus with 30 capacity. Let's try, let's try 32. It seems like, oh, it's 22. Um, that's the, that kind of bus. That's like coach buses, no. Um, let's do 30. And let's make this line blue like the snow. And then this bus line is the neighborhoods. So this one I feel like could go well with a 22 capacity bus. Let's make it white. Oh wait, I just noticed there's a lot of people piling up on this one. Um, let's also go with the 30 capacity bus. It seems good enough. So yeah, that's gonna make citizens happy, give them some extra thing to look forward to. Now that they have city buses being provided to them by the government. I always, my brother won earlier this week, I'm making a city just on my own, just to have fun. I might, it's either I'm going to use this city or the city I'm working on to show off financial districts. If this one gets to Big Town, which is where financial districts will be unlocked, I will show it off. But if I don't, I'll just use my other city. You guys will get to see that one that I've been working on for a while. But basically, my brother walked in on me and he's like, how do you have $4 million? I'm like, because I only spend money when I need to. I mean, I... I think about economics. I was raised on these kind of games, okay? I wasn't raised in city skylines, but I was raised on like city builders, life simulators, stuff like that. So yeah, it's fun. Oh look, here comes the bus. The bus goes round and round. Oh, wait, that's a camper van. Nope. That's not right. Mm. There's the city bus. So yeah, this is one of the newer buses. 
This one killed 30 people. It just looks like your standard, like, city bus, you know? Very sleek, modern. Snowfall recently got a lot of updates to its uh, tram lines that you can get in the pack, and I personally enjoy them. They work out very well. Well, there's not much to do right now. How much longer do I have to tell this population check? Oh, we have a while. Oh, wait. No, we actually are going to be a busy town. Let's actually get there first. Let's actually get to busy town before I log off. For now. For this episode. Stop talking. I haven't gotten a child health center yet. Why don't we save up for that? I still got to pay back my loan I took out earlier. $42,000. That's going to be fun to pay back. I had the park leveled up, so that's good. <laughs> That just means uh, the park's now going to be more popular, which I could use. Oh, there we go. We are officially a busy town. I'm just going to quickly place this uh, chess playground because I feel like it's cool. And also power up the final gate. Will it? Yep. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. This town is definitely pretty cool. It's working out very well. So I hope to see you guys again soon. Comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my other City Skylines video about my Natural Disasters Let's Play. Right now, there are two episodes, and hopefully, I can get more later. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and have a happy holidays. Bye!